guys, welcome back to the big build. Today is session day and we are in Evesham. First thing we have to do is edit it. Now we go dry commands, what we're going to use. All we have to do is click on the ones we're going to use. Now, a lot of these won't be in your game because I've uh, downloaded them. If you search for any of these names, you should find them in the download center. Center to station, whatever. Uh, auto couple to vehicle. We're going to try that one. Cab set control. So that's cab mode, mode control. I can't remember what that one is. Copy commands from. Don't probably need that. We can come back to this anyway. Elite train, drive schedule, drive to, drive to industry, drive to track mark was certainly. We need halt train headlines on. Yes, probably. Oh, yes. Horns at this whistle, basically. Interior lights, load passengers, need the turntable, probably not on this one. I've, no, I've downloaded this one, a new move turntable. I have to look this one up. Is that a new version of this one? I don't know. I do know that if you have the game in the. You have to play the game in compatibility mode. If you don't play it in compatibility mode, move turntable doesn't work. So maybe that's a new version. I don't know. We'll have to have a look. Well, I'll take a separate look at another video, perhaps, of that. Uh, navigate. Set one junction. Set max speed. Ah, yes. Some of the max speeds on here we want to make sure we don't uh, go anywhere near. So that's useful. Set selected signal. We shouldn't need it. Uncouple. Unload. Wait for trigger. Certainly going to need that. Wait until until two. I've not used that. I've just downloaded that one. I had this one installed. Let's have a look, see what that is. So we want to put this on the session layer. Um, I want it to be GWR. Probably BR, GWR. So if you want to just look up this, to pause the video, look up the names, you'll be able to find it. So 30 foot mink. If you put D, actually, all I did was put DWR in the download station. Okay, don't know what we're going to be picking up from here. Are we going to have the brake van? That would really complicate things if we have a brake van. Do need a loco. That's too small. It might be quite cute to actually uh, use two engines. Mm, I, th I think we're going to sit with the original plan. Right, so. give it its name, which is uh, eight. Freight Loco 1. So Freight Loco 1 will then go to Freight Wagon 1. Connect it. Okay, so this is really simple. We're now going to add a track mark into our first town. Now, we are going to be driving from here, down here, down here, down here, down here, to the first town here. We are on the left-hand track. We could go down there, or we can go up to here. There's no reason why we can't go up to here. In that case, we are going to add a track Marker. Uh, Mill. Is it Milton? No, it's Mill Town, isn't it? Really, do have to rename this town. Mill Town.
freight won't stop. Now the reason why we're giving it the extra name is because we will probably add some extra um, stuff coming in here to make it look a bit more lived in. Maybe coming something coming down here. We'll probably trigger that. First thing is just to make sure this actually works. There we go. I think the one we just removed was this one, but it got added automatically before I renamed it. So, auto couple to vehicle. I don't know if I've used that. Couple to Great Wagon One. Alt. Load. Wait for five seconds. Horns. So it's whistles. And then we're going to drive to track mark Milltown Freight one stop. There's quite a few on here already from Milltown. Then we're going to halt the train again. Did I add the halt? I did, I believe. We halt the train. And actually, that's what we're going to leave it. Let's see if it actually works. Right, so if this works, we will reverse this train into this one. It will couple. Horns, wait five seconds, all that sort of stuff. And then it will drive to there. Now, what we might have to do, in fact, I'm thinking of it right now, it might try and drive straight down this one. So, Milton. No, it's not Milton, it's Evesham. Great exit. Exit track. We're using it on this session, so it's actually the wrong way around. Right, so we go back to our session, edit, right to the bottom. So go to freight, bring it to a halt. Load, I don't think it's got to load anything, is it? Wait five seconds. Horn. Drive two. Now we're going to add one in between there. Drive via. Track mark. That's Evesham. Great exit track. So hopefully it could then get that gets it onto the correct track. Okay, we might have to add a drive two. Help it along a bit. So to do that, we're going to have to add a track marker. Uh, Eve Shum. West, West, probably. Um, freight. Stop. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. So if we put it quite close. So we're going to drive it to there. It will then stop and then we'll try it.
fact, it's been a good six minutes since I've done a session, can't we? Right, so drive to track mark. Right, so it's got this camera. Now, it basically doesn't like, we're gonna change cameras. It doesn't like them being there. Looking at them and thinking there's something there, I'm not allowed to be in there. It's a good start. So it's 10 01 to record this. Let's see if they've updated this. Restart of rules, okay. Oh, the train's still there. So the restart of rules is pretty useless. It starts the rules, but the train's still where it was. You left it. Now this is okay for the beginning. What you usually do is try it exit out, load it up again. All right, we'll put it here. And let's see if it actually does it after that. Yep, it's picked it up. Now, I think it's doing it. There we go, that, that was all it needed. This would be close enough then. Never makes it to the other camera. So we are we've blowing the whistle. Off we go. It does it's good. It doesn't know which camera to use. Now. We exit back to the menu and we go back to start again. After we've run it a couple of times, so what we're gonna do is take rid of, take rid of, get rid of that. Why are we doing that? Because downloaded another command. Now, it's always my intention that we are at some point going to divide it up, or lose something. So I've divide. I've downloaded it. Should be under um, actual commands, but they're not. They're actually scripts. So decouple head end, decouple tail end. Now tail should be the end of the train and head should be the front of the train, but it doesn't seem to work like that after testing it. The wrong way around. But maybe because we're reversing the engine, I've just essentially I've just tried on here decoupling some of them. So bring it to a stop. Then we're gonna add decouple. I wonder if it's still head on. So we shall we say four. Yeah, we can't do the next bit of the session because I haven't set the uh, trick yet. I haven't set the next bit. So we're going down to this stop. Now we're next we go to Newtown. So we need to stop the train around here. This time we're going to stop at a track mark at New Town Freight P P one stop. Other session, good.
that is your catchment area, by the way. And that's the way it's facing, so the train should be coming this way. If this train's coming this way, I don't think that works. So we change it, going over to advanced, either set it by getting it. So if I press get, that five will change to 20 again, so there you go. We actually want, we want to set it. Press here to set, and that will change it. So somewhere in this radius, that train will stop. Right, so now we've decoupled. We're gonna wait for five seconds. We're gonna whistle. Then we're gonna drive via Newtown. Great. Drive to at that virtue trap mark. Hotel Great P1 stop. Up the train. Then going to completely decouple it so that we go for the uncoupled. That should uncouple the train from everything. No, it doesn't, does it? Let's see if it detaches them though. So it's done the front this time. One, two, three, so. no, I haven't checked the platform either if it's enough space. We should do that. It's to be. Newtown freight run around one. Newtown freight run around two. We're going to take this time. I really want a couple on this one. Okay. So those in there, we're going to call. Great to wagon. the other carriage up here did. Are we going to use that? I think so. So this is going to be part of the freight. Freight passenger carriage. All right, we'll, we'll keep this for now. Driver. Edit. So we've uncoupled. We drive to yeah. 
Newtown Freight Room Realm 1. Holt. Are we Holt? Where's Holt? Stop. Oh, right. So that's your name. Drive 2. Where? We. Holt. Let's do another one here. New town. Great. And around three. And that. Let's try to trap. Let's use that one. So a couple, two for rear of the freight wagon. We might be able to get to here. Ah, this is one. New town passenger station inbound. What I don't want is it to mix up anything else. Hold the train. Right, so we just coupled. We hold the train. We'll wait for five seconds. We will whistle. Newtown passenger station inbound from west. Then we're going to try up or ahead. First one he's trying to do. Right, points have changed again. Will it go any further? I think so. Oh no, he is doing it. Me of little faith there. Let's try and add the run around. It won't be saved, but if we can get down that far. Not quite made it to the uh, the mark yet though. We're close. Oh, we've done it. Now will it actually connect up? Not entirely sure. How about uh, couple freight wagon? Though is it? Um, get rid of that one. Let's try this one. I think that one will do it, so I'll swap that command out. I 
Boom. Okay. So is it going to do the runaround? It's trying. This is the simplest way to do this if it does. If not, we have to put lots of markers on to, to drive to markers like we just did. Now it can either go up and round or it can go up and round. It could be because there's not any signals there. We might have to put some signals in. Oh, is this what is this signal doing, isn't it? You can notice it's here. Right, we're back in edit mode. So I've changed uh where are we? There. So we couple to the uh freight passage uh freight passenger carriage instead of a uh, couple to the, the carriages ahead. Then we do the runaround. I've added the uh hidden signals, hopefully that'll run. Wait five seconds. Horn, a whistle, then drive to West Yule's platform one, which you guys haven't seen yet. It's just a tiny little station I'll show you in a second. We can send the train to the stop. Five seconds left. That's uh, load five seconds left. Horn. Then we do the next drive to. This is a little station along the... Uh, Normally, a line you haven't seen too much of. Uh, up the line. I just missed it. It's there where the big blob is. Here's Milton Central. Hey, what are you doing? We're going to there. We're going to add a trap marker. It's all going to be great. one turn it around oh, one of my USB hard drives again it's getting and connecting So we drive to track mark as Milton Central platform one. We hop the train. We go five passengers left, five seconds. Okay, so we have to put some cattle getting being loaded into this. So the first thing we have to do is drive up here. This up sufficiently. And we can use the same one we we get a cow out as well. It's quite far up, but it doesn't matter. It do. I suppose we're going to have to put a hidden signal in here to make this work as well. Run three. 
Spotify. So we've go to that, bring change to stop, low passengers left five seconds. Uncouple, decouple, uncouple, whatever. Dry to chat mark. Um, halt. Dry to chat mark. And we want it to couple to great three front. Then we want it to, we'll say wait five seconds. make it whistle try to chat mark again so it's Milton the run back to run one again isn't it we want to halt try to chat mark Milton Run three, so it's back in front of the train. Um, couple to great passenger carriage. Wait five seconds. Whistle. So this is where we want to lose the rear freight stuff. Why we want to lose it here? I don't know, but we're going to. So this is Neath Castle. Neath Castle freight stop. East End. Wouldn't really be East End. So the whole map moves around, but whatever. Then we're going to here. This must be platform three. Neath Castle Passenger. At three east eastbound. Oh yes, eastbound, westbound. Haha. <laughs> Damn, why couldn't I just think of that earlier? So we've, we're heading off from Milton now. So we're gonna drive to Trapmark, which is Neath Castle. Great stop East End. Should be westbound. We are going to halt the train. We're going to decouple tail. Four. So that's the break. Gonna wait for five seconds are going to sound the ring the horn ring the bell ring whistle <laughs> do 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 um the drive to trap mark 
Neef Castle. So it's not eastbound, it's westbound. On the east end? Oh no, is it eastbound? No, it is, it is eastbound. Okay. We are going to... So we drive there. Halt the train. We are going to... Couple last that so that's the actual carriage we're ducking decoupling now. That just leaves right at the front. We'll wait five seconds. Seems to be a thing. We will then sound the horn, the whistle. And off we go, but we haven't got the last place for us to go to yet. So, City Freight Station P1, station, station. So now we're going to drive a track mark, City Ah, oh, it's maybe on there. It is on there. <laughs> then we're going to halt train. And we do slow. Whatever. That's technically the end. So I just got to think some nice things to do around there. Well, the signal's down now. How far back do we take it? There. Now we're gonna go forward. We all accept it's going back onto this platform again. Oh. So it's pushed it all the way down here. It's downhill there. These are off by themselves. <laughs> Well, I've never seen that before. Not in this game. But the train it did make it there where he wanted. Remember, there's no train here. This is just that train pushed into this one and... <laughs> How far will it actually go? It's actually going the wrong way as well. It's probably going down there. Now you're going uphill now. You can't continue. Otherwise there really is a bug. Oh, it's rushing down here. Well, suffice to say, it didn't actually work. Couple to freight passenger. I think this is where we went wrong. We didn't halt it. So it just started rolling. Okay, let's watch it this time. Stop. Need another camera back here so we can watch it. Good, it's going down this side. I'm also looking at the points that are changing. Yes, they did. Hey, there we go.
This time we're going straight forward, not left. We are now at Milton Central. remember if I actually added some it's gonna let me do is it I'd remove So in that case, that's going to work like that. We can just simply move the marker, which we're trying to drive to up into here somewhere. Okay, I get the feeling we're going to run into the same problem again. Do these two. Two to try and go back down to here. That and stop. Done it. Exactly where I put this mark. So far, it's doing it. Will we make it? did, which means it should just connect. Right, from here on it's, it'll work. I'll let change the station. I'll see you in the next station. Now we'll be taking a right now. hope. We should be looking at everything behind that carriage, really. in the passenger carriage. Okay, that's too far down. We dropped what we wanted. Now we should drop on the passenger up by another train. Go back down that line again. It's too far again. Once again, not far enough on the platform, but it does actually work. This is actually another day. Um, well, that's the same video, obviously. Loaded it up, and uh, well, the game decided it didn't like the scenery here, so which we did last episode. Uh, it deleted it all. So I've done it as much as I can to match what we did, but uh, <laughs> if there are differences, that's why. I have an idea what we can do next. A trigger. So we are back at Evesham at the end. I think, to keep it nice and simple, I'm going to add a trigger in here. Where's the trigger? Circuit detector marker product trigger, that's the one. So once we get here, um, Evesham new train trigger. What 
was that then? That's a BP. Well, we could use BP, probably. I don't know. Really, just because why not? Oh, okay. So what we're going to call this? We're going to call this Evesham. Um, T1. Where's it going to drive to? We could all set it here. Uh. Isham Freight Stop West. Now what we do Ah oh, trigger check. Trigger check, that's it. Now we add in a new driver setup. So driver setup, we add a driver setup. Pull it down to the bottom. We put it, actually we don't pull it, we press this. So the trigger check. So we click on the trigger check, click edit. We add the trigger. Um, we called it Evesham, didn't we? There we go. So we're done now. That will trigger when our train goes over it. Then, Eastern T1. So we want it to drive to chat mark East Eastern West Freight. Then we want to Alt. That's it. Right, so we're driving up, the, up this uh, branch here. Now we've got the trigger around here somewhere. So this should trigger the next train. There we go, and it has. Now we've got the problem of signals, as I thought we're going to. I am an idiot. Most people know that, but I am an idiot. Do you know why I'm an idiot? Because. Somewhere on here, there's our freight train. Freight Lyco 01, yep. So that's our train, isn't it? Freight Lyco 01. As soon as this gets triggered, this becomes the overriding uh, commands, except there are no commands. This is why you don't let them automatically generate trains. So you just remove the lot. Did I mess up the other train? Where will they meet, I wonder? Oh, there they are. See, it doesn't look much nicer when you get multiple trains on there. So, for this episode, that is going to be it. Now, I will be... Continually working on that uh, on the session. Hopefully, the episode will be out the week after. If not, it'll be two weeks because it depends on how long this in the end takes me to do. And uh, well, but that is it for this one. But thank you very much for watching. I do hope it's helpful for you. I um, mean, sort of sh to show you how I actually put this together and show you also all the mistakes I make because we all make mistakes. And. Uh, I hope you enjoy the next episode as well.
anyway for this one that's it guys cheers see you next time bye bye